PayPal has suspended BitChute, and this news is coming just today. It sounds like no matter what you do, no matter what happens, you are not allowed to compete with the tech giants. And let me just point out, a lot of these tech companies know each other. A lot of the people who worked or funded or invested in PayPal also work for, invest, and are friends with, and have interests with other big tech giants. So isn't it all surprising? That whenever someone tries to compete with one of these big companies, in this instance, technically YouTube, they end up getting their, their finance services severed from them. And, you know, we hear a lot of people say that, oh, but it's, you know, at the private company's discretion. Right. We've got a monopoly problem. We've got a tech sector, mostly in San Francisco, where most of these people know each other and support each other. And you are lucky if you are able to compete with them in any capacity. It's not even about banning people for hate speech or anything like that. It's about literally BitChute is just a decentralized torrent-based video platform with, uh, with guidelines, with rules, with people on the left and the right. Yet here we see PayPal banning them. There's been no big press about BitChute. There's been no calls for BitChute's deplatforming. But here we go. PayPal's doing it. So let's see what happens. This, this is from BitChute. They published this blog uh, today. A few hours ago, BitChute received a notice that our PayPal account had been permanently limited with immediate effect and that we will no longer be able to accept or send payments. And that's, that's crazy. Immediate effect. That means there's no chance to change. Like, you're getting transactions in all the time. Getting suspended like that without warning, that's extremely disruptive and that means you're probably going to lose money. The notice included the following information. The user agreement for PayPal service states that PayPal, at its sole discretion, reserves the right to limit an, limit an account for any violation of the user agreement, including the acceptable use policy. This decision seems to be final, although we will try to appeal. And they, they link to PayPal's policy. BitChute has had a PayPal account since 2016. We have used it to settle payments and to receive subscription payments from supporters, along with other discretionary payments. It's our belief that it is our stand against the current trend in censorship that has resulted in this action. BitChute is politically neutral. We have a diverse community and interests and backgrounds. We require that users only upload legal content that complies with our terms and community guidelines. We carry out moderation to remove all content that breaches our terms and community guidelines, including but not limited to videos. I'm not going to read that part because YouTube will punish me if I do. Isn't that funny how that works? That's why BitChute exists right there. If I read these words, <laughs> YouTube will scan the words and it will use them and say, demonetize, restricted, and thus alternatives appear. BitChute is pro-free expression, which is a universal human right. It is, absolutely. Furthermore, censorship and deplatforming are poor ways to tackle societal problems, as they merely create echo chambers that can lead to bigger problems in the long run. It's important to platform all ideas, as this exposes them to immediate opposition and allows for a public deconstruction of any flaws they may contain. If you are against bigotry or hateful ideologies, you should be pro-free expression. And they say, what's next? We are working to get a replacement credit card payments processor and we'll keep all our supporters updated on our progress in the meantime. If you are a supporter, your support level will be held in place on the site with all benefits intact. You needn't make any changes. The reward tiers that include mugs and t-shirts will be made available once payments have resumed. Now, I mentioned a moment ago, there hasn't been a big press or a big call to action about BitChute, but there has been some press. And of course, that some press is relatively negative. This story from the Daily Dot. They say, far-right conspiracy vloggers have a new home. First of all, they don't have an old home. These same people are all on YouTube, right? Look, scrolling down, they show all these images of some kind that probably wouldn't appear on, on YouTube, much of which would. I mean, you've got, we want freedom, Detroit be, <laughs> become human. That's not against YouTube's rules. You've got uh, Baldur's Gate. That's not against YouTube rules. You've got Uncharted. What is this, Google Translate? The only one so far in this whole thing is something about the Jews. There's like one post. Why is Daily Dot showing this totally normal thing? Which is crazy. But here's my favorite part. Look, there's me. There's me on BitChute. Now, why is there a picture of me on this far-right conspiracy thing website, especially when the image they show says, Democrats caught registering non-citizens to vote according to the Associated Press. Yes, I only ever use mainstream sources that, for the most part, are certified by NewsGuard. In this instance, the Associated Press, I believe, is like the third most trusted news organization in the world. Surprisingly, number one is like BBC and then PBS, I think. Uh, I think CNN is actually up there, which is weird. But, you know, I'm not surprised branding. So this is a video I made, and here's the thing. 
I, I don't actively upload to BitChute, right? It's automatic. They fundamentally don't understand what BitChute is, and they're showing this red wave in the Great Awakening, Chinese subversion and corruption in USA deep and far reaching. And I, I don't know what any of these are. This is Epoch Times, and the Epoch Times claims to be neutral. But the, I love how they have me right here, considering that the Associated Press is my source. Daily Dot, are you suggesting the Associated Press is not a good source? No, but seriously, I often do videos where the left gets angry and they accuse me of, of making fake news. And I'm like, guy, I'm literally using CBS, NBC, ABC, Vox, BuzzFeed. What do you think is going on here? You, won't, you will rarely see me use something like uh, even the Daily Wire and the Daily Caller, which are still considered to be credible. But this story runs... And they make it seem like they start by talking about the synagogue incident. Seriously, they're trying to associate, and this is probably what happened. They're trying to do to Gab uh, what they're, they're trying to do to, to do to Bitshoot what happened with Gab, associating Gab with uh, Bitshoot with this kind of like you know more fringy, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, Gab. They tried smearing Gab because Gab has a high propensity for a certain kind of speech, and now they're doing the same thing to Bitshoot. Even though what they're showing right here, first you got Sticks, Hex, and Hammer. Styx is kind of just like a right libertarian personality who comments on mainstream news issues. Yeah. Now here's there, now there is some bad stuff for sure, definitely. But then you've got Dave Rubin in Project Veritas. There's definitely some bad stuff they're highlighting. But what's really weird is they've done so little to actually highlight anything bad that's on Bitchute. They say Bitchute, which uses the same black and red color scheme as as its as in its logo as YouTube. What? No, it doesn't. YouTube uses white and red. And a, and a fairly similar layout with headers for popular and trending videos. You can find makeup tutorials, wine reviews, DIY toilet repair. There are movie and game reviews on pop culture list sites like Watch Mojo, which has more than 19 million subscribers on YouTube, recently jumped over to BitChute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch Mojo, which, with, with, which has more than 19 million subscribers, recently jumped over to BitChute. Hmm. Makes you wonder. When a massive major player on YouTube says we're also going to be on BitChute, I'll tell you exactly why I'm on BitChute. Because BitChute automatically archives your videos. That's it. So, uh, somebody else, I have two, so this is my second channel, right? That video you saw down here, this is my main channel. Yes, most people don't realize. My main channel is much more straightforward and much more like going through various news sources to tackle certain issues. In this one, I specifically covered various stories about non-citizens who are registered to vote and an Associated Press report. Okay, this is the AP that the Democrats in Texas were caught doing this. The only reason this video is on BitChute is because it automatically archives my videos. I don't go to BitChute. I don't upload. It's automatic. And there are certain people who don't go on YouTube and they watch me on BitChute. The same is true for the video you're watching right now. It is It as well is on BitChute, except I did not upload it. I do not upload my videos to BitChute. I think BitChute's great because it's an automatic, you know, uh, torrent-based archiving service. But you have this, 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 like... You know, I think we have a big problem in that, for one, this seems like a desperate attempt at some kind of controversy. You know, they're trying to be like, oh, well, you, you talked about Gab. Gab was big in the press. Maybe they can write this story and get some big, some big attention. But I got to say, when you read that Watch Mojo moved over to BitChute, I wonder if a 19 million subscriber channel moving over to BitChute is scary for Google and YouTube. You know, Google, uh, you know, YouTube has desperately tried to make sure that no one can compete with YouTube. And that's why YouTube operates at a massive loss. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I just think it's strange that PayPal, a big tech company who obviously has ties to other big tech companies, I'm not going to name drop people, but you can look it up seriously, would suspend BitChute while it's got mainstream channels like Watch Mojo, right? Watch Mojo does pop, it's a pop culture list channel, right? It's like top five scenes from Infinity War. And now they're on BitChute too, probably because BitChute's providing an archiving service. And then PayPal suspends BitChute. That's that. It's it reeks of it reeks to me of collusion, right? We saw all of the all of the networks banned Alex Jones basically at the same time. I don't necessarily think that's collusion because it may just be that they also had an opportunity to, to to get in the same press story without getting negative exposure. But it's 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 interesting how you have these pseudo hit pieces that come out highlighting some fringy content, but for the most part, all this stuff here is kind of normal. Like like I said, video game stuff, showing my content, which is AP, and then acting like all of this is somehow in line with 4chan and Infowars and QAnon stuff. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this, look at this. They say, you'll find, you'll find plenty of reminders of 2018 in the so-called neutral place. 
videos about Trump, QAnon, the Trump Center conspiracy theory that's floated se several failed predictions, social justice warriors, the validity of Me Too, a sampling of recent trending tags offers more context for what's popular. Trump, Infowars, Gaming, MAGA, over the summer. Rick and Morty co-creator Dan Harmon left Twitter after a controversial 2009 sketch was recirculated by 4chan and hosted on BitChute. One version of the clip has more than 263,000 views. And then they show this. They show me. Citing the Associated Press, right? And that's the justification they use. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point they come and tell me, you know, Whoa, Tim, you can't have your channel. So they actually highlight Sticks Hex Enamor because Styx has been a big proponent of BitChute. They say he's one of BitChute's more popular creators. He has more than 30,000 subscribers. He often wears a leather jacket with no shirt. Yes, uh, I hope they also know that he's a big YouTuber, too. And I don't know if they mention they, they do. They say uh, Warwick's YouTube channel has more than 300,000 subscribers, and his earlier videos, 2013, 2014, are more focused on occult and religion. Well, let's, let's see what their, their final thought on the matter is and why they're writing about this. They say if we, oh my God, if we look back at the Pittsburgh event or the Florida event or even the 2017 event in Charlottesville that ended in a woman's loss of life, it's clear freedom of expression often means freedom to espouse hurtful, hastest, and bigoted things. I'm trying to avoid saying certain things. On sites like BitChute, Twitter, YouTube, and Gab, that often happens without consequence. BitChute wants to be a rogue ship in the video ecosystem that rails against censorship, but when, yeah, you can you get it, extremist stuff is still flourishing and reaching an audience on YouTube, is it really an alternative? And as its user base grows, will BitChute just end up facing the same issues YouTube is still figuring out? So let me ask you this, Audra Schroeder. This seems like a really jumbled together, last minute, ill thought out piece. If you're going to claim that far right conspiracy bloggers have a new home, why then would you claim it's all still active on YouTube? It sounds like this is a garbage hit piece just trying to smear BitChute when YouTube has the same content and more and worse. And the same can be said about Gab and Twitter. It's not like Gab is putting different content to Twitter. They just have people on their platform and Twitter. Anyway, I'll end by saying this. Is this the last? No, of course not. I think it's very coincidental that BitChute is growing so so prominently, get attracting big, big channels, and all of a sudden they get PayPal to cut them off. Hmm, makes you think. Anyway, stick around. I've got some more videos coming up in just a few minutes.